Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be taking you through Firebase Google Sign-In in, in React Native. So recently I put out several videos on how to implement social authentication in React. So I figured I'd do the same for React Native as well. So I'll start off with a few videos going over React Native or social authentication in iOS, and then I'll put out more on Android as well. So today we'll start off with Google authentication on an iOS app. So to get started, let's first set up our Firebase project. I'll go ahead and give my project a name. I'll call it React Native uh, Google Auth. Then I'll create my project. And while that is being set up, we'll go over to React Native Firebase. So in the previous video I did going over uh, iOS or Apple authentication rather, I uh, use this package here called React Native Firebase, and we'll use the same today to implement our Google sign-in. So the first thing we need to do is let's go ahead and install this package. And then what we're concerned with is authentication. So we'll go ahead under authentication, click usage, and then we'll need to install uh, auth as well. So copy this line here. Then we'll just wait for this to finish installing. So that is done. Let's go ahead and install the next package. And by now our Firebase project should be set up. So let's just click continue. And then we'll select iOS here. Uh, let's stop it here for now. And then let's just wait for this to finish loading. Okay, so that is installed. Let's move on and uh, under social auth here, we'll select our social provider. So it is Apple. So if you wanna implement uh, the Apple sign-in, I already have a video on that. So do check that out. Uh, let's go down all the way to uh, Google. So before we begin like with this implementation, we first need to head over to the Google sign-in library. So let's go ahead and click that. So this is another package that we need to install. So let's go ahead and add that. And then we need to follow these steps here under iOS guide. So let's go ahead and click that as well. Okay, so before we continue with this documentation here, Let's first uh, update our pods. So let's cd into iOS. And then in here, we'll run pod install. And then we'll add repo update. So dash dash repo dash update. And this will install all our dependencies. So Apple auth. Firebase and everything we need. So looking at this documentation here, what we need to do is set up our, our Firebase project, which we just did. And then from there, we need to download our info-p list uh, file. So let's head back to Firebase. So we already clicked on uh, add Apple app here. This is where we left off. So let's create the bundle for our application, which has to match the one in our app here. So let's just go to build settings. I'll just create a bundle in the meantime. So it'll be com dot, let's call it react native, uh, Google auth and dot app, we'll just call it that. And then we'll copy this bundle name and then also have it in our uh, main application. So under signing and capabilities, we'll just uh, change our bundle identifier and paste it to that. And then maybe here we can also select our team. Okay, and then here register app. Then let's go ahead and download our info.plist uh, file. Okay, I'll just put it under downloads, click next, next next and then continue to console. So from here, what we need to do back in our Xcode, uh, we just need to open this up and then go into your app folder. 
uh, this will be the name of your application and then just right click here and then click add files to app and then select the info playlist that you just downloaded and then click add and then just right there uh, locate this uh, reserved client ID so this reserved client ID what we need to do we just head back to your app so copy that first uh, so select your app target and then under URL types, uh, click that. And then we're going to add our link here. So under URL schemas, we'll paste that in there. There we go. And then I think that should be good with the setup now. So the next step from here, uh, just head back to React Native Firebase and then back to Get Started. And then under Installation, scroll all the way down to iOS Setup. So we already have our info playlist. We already added that to our project. What we need now is this section here so we need to go into our app delegate.m and paste in this command at the very top so back in xcode app delegate.m we'll paste that in there and then from there we also need to copy this line here or this yeah this line here and then we'll add this into our did finish launching with options method so at the very top of that method We'll paste that in there. So did finish launching with options. We'll just add that at the top and then just click save. And then once we're done, we just need to run our pod install once more. So we're already in our iOS project, let's run pod install. Okay, yeah, uh, we should be good. So let's go ahead and try building our application. So clean build folder. And then build. So our build was successful. From here, what we need to do, we can jump into our uh, VS Code. So just cd into my project, and then open this in VS Code. So maybe let's run our application in our emulator. Uh, we should still have the default React Native screen that pops up. Okay, so while that is loading, I'll just head over into my VS Code and then head into my app.js file. And then in here, what I need to import, uh, let's head back to authentication here, social auth, and then scroll down to Google. So let's go ahead and import Google sign-in. And this is from the React Native Google sign-in package. So we'll import that. And then right in our app here, we need to configure our Google uh, sign-in. So it says here, before triggering a sign-in request, you must initialize the Google sign-in or the Google SDK. So we'll just copy this line here. Then we'll have it here. So the web client ID, uh, this you'll get if you just head back to VS, I mean, uh, your Xcode. And then in your info P list, let me just locate that. So in your Google service info P list, open that. And then this client ID is what we need. So go ahead and copy that. Okay, so it says it's the ID that ends with apps.googleusercontent.com. So which is this one here, apps.googleusercontent.com. Go ahead and copy that and then we'll paste it in here. There we go. And then let's see. So our app is running. Okay, let's just wait for everything to load and then we'll start editing the layout. Okay, there we go. So we have our uh, React Native screen up there. So let's go ahead and remove the default uh, layout here. So we'll just remove it and have a, a view with the button. Uh, we'll also get rid of the styling. 
Uh, let's just have view. Then we'll add a button there. Uh, I think we'll need to import that as well. Uh, let's just make it text for now. Say hello world. And then we can get rid of all of this. And this whole section as well, we can get rid of that. Cool. So uh, let's see what we have. So we have our hello world drop right there at the top and then just for styling, I'll uh, just have a uh, main view as always. It's going to be styles, no, style, styles dot main view. And if you can, see, if you see the autocompletes here, so this is a uh, Google, I mean, GitHub Copilot. So as you can see, I'm already getting like a, uh, uh, code that's already being uh, suggested. So I'll just click accept it uh, and then justify content. Yes, align items. So I think this is based on my recent uh, projects. I use justify and align items quite a lot. Okay, and then uh, let's see. So everything should be centered. We'll go ahead and import the button. There we go. And then from here, we can just uh, copy this button here. So we have a button that says Google sign in. Uh, on press, let's remove this. We'll create our own method. Uh, we'll call it sign in with Google. Okay, and then we'll create our method here. So const sign in with Google. It has to be an async method, so we'll accept that as well. Okay, uh, from here, so we need to import auth as well. And this is from one of the packages that we first installed. So we'll add that as well. So we'll first, uh, so our method has to be async. Okay, that's fine. And we need to get an ID token. So Google uh, sign in. We need to get an ID token. And then once we have, we'll create a Google uh, user. So first, uh, let's enable authentication in our project. So let's just head over to authentication and then get started. Uh, we'll select Google, enable that, select your support email, and save. Then we'll just paste the line that we just copied now. Okay, that is set up. Let's just go back to users. So we have no users at the moment. And then from here, let's copy this. So sign in user with credentials. So this will be signing in our user into Firebase. And here, what I need to do, let's uh, say, let's create this, let's make this a variable and then we'll call it uh, user sign in equals. And then from this user sign in, uh, there'll be data returned to us, which will be the user data. And then let's go ahead and uh, print this out. So this will be our result, and then we'll just console log that out. Um, and from here, we should be good. This is pretty much it. Let's try and see what we've got now. So if I click uh, Google sign in, I should get a prompt uh, asking me whether I want to continue to google.com. So there we go. It says app wants to use google.com to sign in. Uh, click continue from there. And then we have this pop-up window where you can go ahead and sign in using your Gmail account. So we'll type in my details here. Then password. Huh. Okay, just need to verify on my device. Just give me a moment. Yes, it's me. 
And then from here, once the user is actually signed in, we should get all the details printed here on this terminal, this side. So there we go. So we have user, display name, Jalom, email, there we go. And then all the uh, additional data that we need, including photos and, and all of that. So if you have your app built fully on Firebase, obviously then in this case, you uh, maybe have a state for signed in, is not signed in, and then direct your users elsewhere. Uh, be sure to check out my other videos that I did on React Native, Firebase, and authentication. Uh, this is just one of the first for the social authentication video. So probably after this, I'll do Facebook and I'll also put out a few in Android as well. Cheers.